Hey, what's happening, guys? Back at it again. I just had something delivered today. Um, yeah, it's on a Sunday. Um, I ordered this trowel tool. Um, I thought it looked pretty interesting. It's some sort of aluminum. And this was like eight bucks, but I figured I like having stuff in my truck. I have an e toll and a big s o g tomahawk, and I also have I have a visor that has a bunch of gear on it and various stuff, fire starting, and various tools, and a bunch of different stuff, so I like to be prepared, uh, I'm not only going to be doing reviews of knives, and EDC gear, and overviews, and, uh, instructional type things, but I'm gonna be covering a plethora of different things, uh, generators, power stations, uh, tools, you know, you name it. I'm going to be kind of dabbling in a little bit of everything. Uh, but this was a cheap piece of aluminum. I figured the e-tool that I have in my truck is well made. It's all steel construction. There's no plastic or anything. I think the only thing plastic on it is the tightening uh piece of uh hardware it's it's a big plastic piece that actually tightens down i think that might be pl like hard plastic but that really don't serve any structural purpose it's just more to lock lock it in place uh but i figured this would be a cool little backup to that it's a little trowel it's It'd be good for digging into something small. Like last year, my my fiance got stuck. Her, the car that she drove got uh, plowed in. And not only did it get plowed in, but it got frozen in place. Uh, and when we went up to get it, we couldn't get it out um, as it sat. Uh, but luckily I had that e-toll and a few other tolls in my truck. And with the e-toll and some other hammer and a few other various things, I was able to actually dig the, the tires out and get the car out. Uh, so being prepared does pay off uh, at some point in time or another. Uh something will happen and you will need certain devices or tools that uh, you can use to get you out of that situation or aid you in getting through the situation. Um, whether it's man-made or uh, just uh, Mother Nature at its finest, being prepared is a, definitely a good thing. Uh, so that covers that. This is just on Amazon. I think it's like eight, nine bucks, something like that, seven bucks. Uh, but it's just a little mini trowel. I thought it would be cool to throw in there. It's thin. It'll pretty much fit anywhere I want to put it in the truck. So Amazon, seven, eight bucks. Nature trowel design, made in Taiwan. It's some sort of aluminum, lightweight. And the second thing I got was a French made Duke Duke. Now this thing, I just happened to be, I was ordering some stuff for my daughter's birthday and uh, I just happened to start looking around and I found this guy here. Uh, and I thought it looked really interesting. I don't know why my camera's whacking out now, right now. 
but I just thought this was was awesome. I don't know why it's bugging out like that. It might be the lighting, but uh, it's got really cool laser work or artwork on the blade, and then it's got some cool artwork on the scales. Now this wasn't an expensive knife on Amazon, that's where it's from, and if you type in Duke Duke, uh, it'll pop right up. But the handle construction is metal. And then it's got a little like pull tab uh, to get it out of a slip or out of your pocket. Like a fifth pocket or whatever. And then it's just got like a stainless blade. I, I'm not sure what steel it is. I didn't really get it to be a user. More of a kind of like a secondary just talking piece but it is a slip joint and it's got uh, a very strong pull I would say that's a good like nine it's it's real strong uh, compared to what I'm carrying today get my Lancelot leather slip out here brand new custom made for the ORJ in tie the Ohio River Jack uh, but the Ohio River Jack has like almost like a perfect perfect pull I would say it's like a seven maybe if I and I don't know anything so I'd say it's like a six or seven and it feels awesome probably a seven uh, if that is feeling good like it's strong but it's not too strong and it's got very good audible clicks and it, it it's awesome it, it feels good. It don't feel like it's going to close on you when you're using it. I mean, you can... It pops right back up. I mean, you'd really have to push down on it to get it to go to half stop or whatever it's called. Uh, I love this thing. Um, so if that's a 7 or a 6 or a 7, this is a an 8 to a nine easy it's now that could me be because it needs some cleaning up in there but there's no pivot it's just uh riveted in there it looks like so it kind of is it is what it is uh well obviously there's no pivot i guess there won't be but that's just a uh, fixed it is what it is it's a fixed uh, piece of hardware um, but like I said this isn't something that with the way the scales are and the way the handle is I mean it's it's not too bad in hand and you definitely don't feel like you're gonna close this thing I mean I'm pressing on that pretty hard and it's not closing. So, I mean, you could use this probably fairly hard. The problem would be right here. This is thin. Now, even in a pretty sturdy, strong grip, it's not bad. But once you met up with some material, um, I think that would eventually start getting to your fingers or if you had it in like a reverse grip, uh, squeezing it really tight, that does dig into your hand. But like I said, this would be something you'd carry, maybe open up a box, or, you know, open up some mail, just kind of a talking piece slash light, light duty user. 
I just got it because I thought it was cool. Uh, and I don't have many slip joints. So I just thought it was cool. And it was made in France. So I just thought, you know, it wasn't some Chinese piece of garbage. So I thought it was cool. And I figured I would share this. I don't know if there's many videos in the way of this thing or not. Uh, but if there's not, here's one. It's cool. Is it worth the 20 or 30 bucks? Yeah. Uh, so there's the Duke Duke and the trow. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Have a good week, everyone. Have a safe week. And I will see you around. Peace.